What's up everyone, Mort Snow here, welcome back to another video. In today's video I'm going to be explaining basically everything that went down in today's crazy mini live event. I wouldn't even consider it a mini live event at this point, I would say it's a medium live event. Just in terms of just the scale of how good this event was, I mean it was just an insane event. So let's get straight into it. So the event starts off with Hope activating all the Rift Beacons and then all firing directly at the Doom Forge Tower, trying to basically destroy it. Um, it doesn't work, a bot barrier, like force field shields around it, it won't penetrate through it. Hope's not understanding what's going on, how it's still standing. Turns out Doom is there, and he's stopping Hope from destroying it, and he's basically saying, how dare you, ha or something along the lines, I think, of like, who dares stand against me. He then emerges, causes like loads of dust and smoke to go everywhere, knocking us back, destroying some of the rift beacons or damaging them, sending them flying across to different POIs. He emerges in his Pandora's box Titan form, marching towards us, heading straight towards us. Some of the heroes like War Machine and some random loopers trying to, you know, to shoot at him to try and stop him. They all just fail. Doom's just, he's just way above all of them, just way too strong. Even Jones, like, chucks a shield, does nothing. Jones, in fact, actually almost dies, suffers a blast from Doom, and if it wasn't for hope, Jones would be dead. Hope, honestly, I think has gained a lot of my respect in this. I already thought she was a decent character. I, I was never someone who was hating on her much. I do think she didn't have the best story writing, so I didn't really like her character insanely too much, but I thought she's an okay character for how long she's been in the game for. Uh, but I gained a lot, I think I've got a lot more respect for her now, like, especially after this event. I mean, she saved literally Jones. I mean, I think she earned a little bit of credit for that. Um, then Doom proceeds to pick her up, and I, he, I'm guessing he was probably about to kill her or something like that, but then she chucks the shield, the shield that had bla that had protected her from the blast of Doom's power, she just smashed it into his eye, scarring his eye, he drops her in the process, War Machine it looks like, um, War Machine saves her, um, and then they all just like stand doing their superhero poses and charge towards Doom. And then we proceed to the next part of the event, the gameplay part, the boss battle against Doom, which went over several games and just felt really, really cool. We finally get the health bar down, and Doom is rifted away. The rift activates, stop, but there was only one rift beacon that survived. It starts to activate just before the health bar fully goes down. Just as the health bar goes down, the rift beacon activates, rifting Doom away. And what actually happens in this, you see some of the power, it looks like it's coming out of him. What's actually happening in this part is parts of Pandora's magic are coming out of him and basically ta punching and attacking the rift to try and stop him from going through the rift. Unfortunately, it's not enough. Doom is sucked in through the rift and ref rifted back to reality 616. Um, and his mask falls off, leaving his mask behind. Now, Doom still has Pandora's box as power. He's not lost it, he's still got it. The reason he failed this time is because he didn't truly didn't understand the power too much and he's still learning. I think Doom's now he's rifted away in 616, he's gonna stay there until the end of the season, and he's gonna learn Pandora's power more. So when he comes back to the island, he'll be ready and know it and actually understand the power more. And he'll come back in the full scale live event that we're getting at the end of the season. It's got six phases with ending in a black hole, leading to chapter OG. In that event, Doom is gonna come back to the island stronger and more powerful than ever, and angry for revenge against hope. This, the story of the Doom is not over. Doom is not gone. He might be defeated for now, but he's not gone. This is not the end for his storyline. We have a month, almost a, under a month of the season left. They wouldn't get rid of the main character of the season with almost a month left of the season still to go. This whole season is literally about Doom. I know going to Fortnite Mares now, we're going to have a lot of Mephisto and Fortnite Mares themed stuff, um, but they didn't they didn't just wrap up this story, Doom storyline now to move on to the Fortnite Mares phase. I know Top 5 Gaming said that in his new video, but that's just not true, okay? Doom is coming back to the Fortnite storyline. The Doom storyline is not over. He is coming back stronger than ever in the next live event. This was only a mini live event. This is this live event, the, the real live event hasn't even begun yet. This was just a mini live event. And that's how insane it was. For a mini live event, this was insane. But the full scale proper event is coming at the end of the season and Doom will return. I appreciate you watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.